Hi everybody, Matthew from Disaster Area here. Going to cover the basics of the DMC3 pedal with the Line 6 compatible firmware. This firmware is designed for the Line 6 M9 and M13. It enables scene select and looper control. So let's take it one mode at a time. The blue mode is scene select mode. This is analogous to the timelines bank or patch mode, if any of you have seen those videos. Uh, the right and left buttons will step through scene by scene. If you look at the M9 display at this point, you can see when we press the right button, we enter into the scene select screen briefly, and it steps through the scenes. Uh, we start at 1A, B, 2A, 2B, 3A, 3B. When we get to the end of the sixth scene, we step into the next scene folder. So you can see now we're in a seventh preset. Now we're in the third scene folder the fourth scene folder, and back where we started. So, if you enter into a scene that has effects already present, you can press, you can press and hold the center button, which will bypass all the effects. Pressing and holding it again will take you back and enable your effects. Pressing the center button to get into green mode will enable looper controls. And I'll briefly enter the looper control screen so you can see what's going on. So you can see we've got full foot control of the looper. Those of you paying careful attention may have noticed that when we canceled the overdub, the overdub light on the M9 continued to flash. That's a known issue with the M9 via MIDI control. It's been acknowledged by Line 6 and it doesn't affect the operation of the unit at all. It's just an error in the way their code handles the LED updating. Going to red mode allows us to control half speed. This is Looper Pre and Looper Post. So it's quite useful to be able to toggle Looper Pre and Post on the fly. This is similar to the way we can toggle a Looper Pre and Post on the timeline. It lets the M9's internal effects change the sound of the looper. So you can use things like the uh, tube echo model to process the loop, giving it sort of a lo-fi sound like we've done here. And there you go. The M9 firmware allows you to control the M9 or the M13, scene select and looper. It enables access to looper stop play, record, overdub, undo, redo, looper pre-post, half speed, reverse, as well as scene select and bypass. Thank you.